Have you ever noticed that when you go to a social gathering or maybe a work networking event, there are some people that can just communicate really easily with anyone. They seem super relaxed and confident, whether they're speaking to the CEO or to a junior assistant. How do they do this? Because you're in the same room and you're having completely the opposite experience. You are struggling. My cat's breath smells like cat food. Oh, hey, uh, do you like stuff? And yes, they are Raph Wiggum quotes. But here's the good news. There is no mystical art behind why some people are great communicators and other people struggle. There are a couple of key skills that anyone can learn and practice to become a better communicator. And in his book, Super Communicators, Pulitzer Prize winning author Charles Duhigg argues that anyone can improve their communication skills and be a great communicator. So let's have a look at some of the really practical, actionable advice from his book and we can leave that Ralph Wiggum era behind us. Okay, let's go. The first thing you want to practice if you want to become a better communicator is to become more curious. Simply ask more questions. Because in his book, Charles Duhigg says that super communicators ask 10 to 20 times more questions than other people. And these can be simple questions. Like you're in a conversation and you say things like, oh, tell me what happened next. Or what did that experience feel like? Or what else can you tell me about that? So these are tiny, almost inconsequential little questions, but they invite the other person into the conversation and they encourage them to open up and share more with you. So asking more questions, becoming more curious is a really good habit that you can start to build quite easily in order to become a better communicator. And you might feel nervous at first, so like you might feel like you're interrogating people or oh, I'm asking too many questions. But actually people love to talk about themselves. People love permission to talk about themselves. And that's what you're doing when you ask them questions. So actually asking people questions is almost like giving them a gift, the gift of being able to talk about themselves a little bit longer and then you can grow that connection with them. So another thing that you can do is not just ask lots of questions, but ask different types of questions. Charles Duhigg talks about deep questions. These are questions that go beyond the superficial, where you're actually asking people questions about their values or their beliefs or their experiences. And these kind of questions help you to really explore the other person's perceptions, their motivations, their feelings. Maybe you meet somebody and you're having a conversation and you say, oh, what do you do for a job? And they say, oh, I work in communications. You can follow up with deep type questions like, did you always want to work in communications? Is that what you wanted to do when you were a child, how do you feel about that job? So in these type of questions, you're really going to start to learn about that person's life and their experiences and what they value. And it will start to build a deep connection between the two of you beyond those superficial questions. So if you want to ask deep questions, try things like, how did that feel for you? Can you tell me about that experience? A really great one. I use this one all the time. Can you tell me more? These three words tell me more. These are great, by the way, if you're ever networking at a work event and you don't really know what to say, you're kind of stuck in a conversation somebody says something you just say can you tell me more that will just get them to keep the conversation going super communicators are great at doing this and the great thing about asking these deep questions is because you're going to start learning about that person you'll be able to empathize with them you're going to pay really good attention to what they're saying you will really start to build up a great connection so another skill that we really need to learn if we want to be excellent communicators is active listening and in his book Charles Duhigg calls this looping for understanding have you ever been in a conversation where you just know the other person is not listening to you? Maybe they have like a glazed look on their face or they're glancing around, but you know that they're not really listening to what you're saying. It's infuriating, right? It doesn't feel good. And you know that they're just waiting for their turn to speak. Now this happens a lot. So people will, even subconsciously, always be checking to see if you are paying attention. And this is something that super communicators do really well. They pay attention and they listen closely. And you know what? A lot of conflict comes about when people think that you are not listening to them. So this is super important. And this is where you can use Duhigg's technique of looping for understanding, which is where you can prove that you're listening to somebody. So looping for understanding has three really simple steps to follow. Step one, you ask a question and you listen to the answer. Step two, you repeat back what you heard in your own words. And then step three, you ask them if you got it right. So what this might sound like in reality is you ask a question, they give the answer, and then you're gonna say, oh, so let me just check if I'm hearing you right. What I heard you say is, 
X, Y, Z. And then they can either say, oh yeah, you've got it. Or, oh no, actually what I meant was. So this really proves to them and demonstrates that you have listened to what they have said. You have heard what they have said and you understood what they said. This will give the other person a lot of validation. And this is really powerful because you're opening up the conversation to be corrected. If maybe you didn't understand things correctly the way that they intended. So this is a really good technique to use this looping for understanding. Another technique you can use from this book to become a better communicator is to actively try to create more connection with other people because human beings really desire connections. It's hardwired in our brains. Connecting with people helps us to build up trust, helps us to collaborate well, it helps us to work better with people. So this is really important in the workplace. So this ties back a little bit to when we were talking about asking questions. But this is kind of reversed because creating connection isn't just about asking questions and getting the other person to share their experiences with you. It's also about you sharing your experiences with that person. Because this really interesting thing happens in our brains that if you share a really good story and you share it very vividly and you communicate it very well, that other person will start to feel the emotion from your story and they will start to connect with you and understand you at a much deeper level. Charles Duhigg says, make sure that you are sharing stuff using really vivid language language and you also remember to always invite people to share their experiences with you and you can ask really simple questions like oh wow that's really interesting what happened next or hey I remember you telling me that before let me tell you about a time I had a similar experience so if you make your desire for connection really obvious it helps people to relax into the conversation and they can really connect with you so here's what I want you to remember the t practical takeaways from this book get really curious ask way more questions than you usually would ask lots of deep questions, demonstrate to people that you're listening, show that you want to connect with people. Because remember, being a super communicator isn't some mystical art or something that only certain people can do. It is a series of practices and it's things that we can learn and practice all the time. Being a great communicator at work has nothing to do with charisma or being extroverted. Anyone can be a super communicator. I hope these tips are useful to you. All right, my friends, every week I give you free tips on how to be a better communicator, how to communicate more effectively at work. Your only cost of entry is to hit that subscribe button below. Thank you so much.